Proverbs 17.11 Evil doers foster rebellion against God. The messenger of death will be sent against them. Acting against a king or the law of the land is a crime. It is considered an unpardonable offense and punishable by imprisonment for life or death if it endangers the king's position, life or safety of the country. Similarly, a person who is persistently rebellious, repeats it after many compromises and remains unchanged despite receiving minor punishments, will be punished without mercy in any way. If this is a reality in this world's legal system, what is to be expected in God's law? God is commanding men everywhere to repent. This commandment is intended to provide an opportunity for a new life by forgiving past sins and thus becoming heirs to eternal blessings. Won't punishment be given to those who mock God, questioning how can God punish if he is love and denying the existence of God? He will surely punish him. God has appointed for all a day of judgment after death. It is impossible to escape that day by thinking that nothing wrong has happened on this earth. A king would entrust the execution of punishment to those who are merciless. That is what is meant here by cruel angel. It can be compared to God sending natural disasters or accidents. No need to lament that God is cruel at the calamities he sends because of man's transgressions. The truth is that God, the judge of the universe, has not yet done as he should because of his mercy. If we see God's long suffering as an opportunity for salvation and do not rebel, we will inherit great goodness and blessings. May God bless you.